Okay guys, you asked for it, so now it's here. The kin fee. I'm serious. So I decided to finally fulfill your requests for my feet. And no, I don't think I have the most beautiful feet, but I did what I could for the people. But let me catch you clowning my feet in these comments, honey. I'm shutting this channel down. Consistency is the key. So if you go in on those nuts and you know it's a team of you, I would say allocate one girl to just focus on the nuts. So you're gonna be doing every single thing that you do with some nuts and you're gonna do it all simultaneously. You're just gonna do what you gotta do and you're gonna be out there working it and some tights and put some tights on that works with a little camel toe, little you know. Um, um, fringing in the butt area all that is distracting all that so all that helps not just the nut sacking helps the clothing on the women and the sex bodies also helps because dudes be mesmerized and y'all some wrong with y'all like y'all smell sometimes when it comes to women just be fine as hell like y'all just Okay, so we're gonna do all that allocate one woman to go in and she's gonna be the nut girl okay She's gonna be the nut girl. She can take care of those nuts. We punch in, we grab in, we twist in, we kick in, we knee in, we're elbowing, we're doing every single thing. If we can get down on them groins and bite those groins, we can bite them. We're doing every single thing. We're not stopping, consistent, repetitive. That's what we're doing. So let nut girl do what deal with him, okay? With with each with certain guys. She's gonna be the consistent nut girl because she can keep going and she can be nutting everybody. She's gonna be sacking all the dudes and nuts consistently. But you're gonna take your time on certain guys like when you know it's time to play and this per, uh, particular guy is up and it's time for him to go you want to focus on that guy okay so you have to have a game plan game plan ladies okay tight clothing sexy ass clothing and not sacking okay so that helps does this prove that men can never compete with women of course not definitely that does not prove anything anyone can be with can compete with anyone as far as i'm concerned a kid can compete with a parent if he frings with that parent's child i will find a child okay we can do that all day don't mess with my son okay that's all I have to say on that. But um, no, that does not mean that he can never compete with women. That is definitely not it. Yeah, there, there will definitely be that opportunity. Um, always be an opportunity. Will there ever be a moment when the world at large will consider that women and men are equal when the world, not us women, because we, we don't have those thoughts. Are we equal to that? Oh my God, I am a mess that. No, bitch. Fuck that, we ain't less that. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? It's society that likes to choose that, and the most of the society that has that idea in their head are men with penises that can be sacked. Hello. And, um, you know, but we don't think that way. And there will always be an opportunity. Um, I mean, there will always be room to explore. And if ever in a moment, you know, the world decides that women and men can do sports together, they can do, you know, all these things together, um, then it's on, and then we just have to see. Back from the market. Okay, so, let me read this question before I take off. So the question, next question is, do you think that the nut shot, do you think that the nut shot is a great equalizer and proves that men can never compete with women and having balls in a fight against a woman is a huge weakness do i think that the nut shot proves that men can never compete with women having balls in a fight against a woman is a huge weakness no i don't think so so um Isn't an equalizer? Um, let me tell y'all something. 
let me tell you right, something. So when you say, if I think it's an equalizer, that can, I could take that to mean, and me being a half feminist, hello, can take that to mean that you think that women are weaker, and since a man has a tool that weakens him so much that it would bring him down to our level. Don't play with me, okay? No, I'm just kidding. No, but that's how it could be taken, okay? But let me just say something right now. Women are beyond strong. Women are the more dominant. I wouldn't say we're the more dominant being, but we are stronger. We are more intelligent. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, like, take it how you want it. But when you think about it is, I have watched certain scenarios with men um, being put on um, the, um, those contraction, um, that contraction tool that makes you feel like you're having contractions. I don't care how intense those contractions are. It can never compare to what women have to endure when dealing with pregnancy and having a baby, okay? When dealing with the birthing process, okay? The cramps we have to endure on a monthly basis, the fact that we are constantly dealing with hurt, heartache, um, just so much, and we can rise up and move on. And you may call us emotional and petty and whatnot, but let me tell you, the women have the right to be emotional when we have to endure so much and when we have to stand our ground. Women have to because we, 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 we deal with it all. We are the mother of, we are the reason for being, okay? I mean, I don't care how you, how you, how you slice it. We are the reason for living organisms on this planet. If we did not have women, we would not have a life. And every life form, and I'm certain that there are some animals where, oh, I know that there are some fish, or one particular fish, where the fish, the male, takes care of the babies, but does he have them? I'm not sure, okay? But women are the ones who produce, okay? We call it Mother Earth because it produces, and the women are the ones that produce. So if we refer to the Earth as Mother because of the production, then we have to realize that women, hi, we're the greater species. We're stronger because we can endure a lot men than men, more than men can endure. Yes, when it comes to um, strength of lifting things and whatnot, some of us, we will say, heck to the no, let that man do that because that's his job. I don't think that there's a job or jobs for men and jobs for women. I know how to do a lot of things with my own car. I rarely ask anybody to help me with anything. And whenever someone touches my vehicle or anything that you guys may call something for a man to do, I make sure and I stand and I watch and I research how to do it so I can do it myself. I am that woman who wants to put my own hands in my house. I want to assist in building my own home. I am that girl. So there are women out there who are very, very independent. But then there are also women out there who Listen, we've done it all. We've been through the mud and the mire. We just want someone, a man, to be a gentleman to us and open our doors and lift our this, that, and the other. It's not because we can't lift it. It's because we just want you to lift it. Let me do that. Do something with your life, honey, because you're not doing anything, really, okay? You're a failure, and that's why I'm about to punish those nuts. Hello? So stand in the corner, and then we can have a back-to-face conversation because you don't even deserve to look at me right now because hello you're disrespectful and you're disrespectful if you do not know that women are the superior being and that we can have full control of people we allow you guys to do what you want we allow you guys to live okay just remember that that's that's all i'm saying just just be mindful and don't don't assume that we are weaker because we may not do certain things and a lot of those things that we may not do like i say is a choice to not do it, okay so when you think about the bigger picture 
you you know you realize it in the end okay like seriously but when you say does it make it a great equalizer that means that it weakens the man you and i don't know how long you guys have been watching my videos but i did some research on this when i you know earlier in the day when i was back in california and y'all should have hollered at me when i was in california because i would have been willing to practice some practice because seriously y'all got like an attitude problem over there like for real like i'm coming from the bahamas where you walk up on someone you say hello hi good morning how you doing that type of stuff you do not walk up in the room because bitch did you wake up with me this morning no you didn't so good morning go back out the door come back in and say good morning like these people in california from my experience they will literally walk bump you while walking past you and say absolutely nothing if you open my mouth and say hi good morning they trying to haul ass and run bitch what's this okay so yeah if you would ask me maybe i would have cracked someone enough y'all should have hollered at me when i was back there but moving right along um there are some men, like I'm saying, that I, we all discovered back in the day, when you kick them in the nuts, they're not always going to go down. There are some men who, can, men who can withstand it. Think about a man who enjoys being sacked in the nuts, who enjoys his nuts being completely effed up, okay? He enjoys uh, just the pummelation of his nuts, okay? So, we're in a fight. You kicked him in the nuts. He just got turned on. So, that did nothing, okay? It did not weaken him. It may arouse him, but it may not weaken him. So, does that mean that we are now of the same strength? Or does that mean that it makes us all equal when it comes to, you know, playing games or whatnot? No, it doesn't because, you know, everyone does not react the same way. Now, does it does it does it help? Um, it does help. It does help because now we have something that we can use that is now legal um, to help to number one defend ourselves or to help us to win, to help us to have an advantage over the guys. Is it a disadvantage? I think that having a penis in a fight, <laughs> having a penis in a fight, right? especially without a protective cup and still i think those protective cups can you know they can backlash on you real quick right whatever um it might help because protecting the nut area right but if you do not have one it can definitely help and it gives you an advantage to be um able to weaken that man so that now you have more power and more control over winning that game or winning that fight right and if you're a woman and you listen to me like i always say consistency is the key okay okay so your next question what if your own so the next question, what if your own brother or son was play fighting you really rough? Would you go for the nut shot to win or play fair? Um, first off, I don't have any brothers. I just have three brothers in law. I've never play fought with any of them. That might be weird, I don't know. Um, either way, if I had a brother and you know, I do have a son. If we were play fighting, no, I would not. If, especially if we we're play fighting, I would I would not. You probably want me to say yeah and explain now what you would do, but I wouldn't actually. I would not do that. That would just be a little too much uh, to get, go in on them. If I were playing with somebody else, random dude, stranger, maybe an ex-boyfriend who got on my nerves a lot, definitely. I would probably grab the nuts. You know, sometimes when you are in the middle of a fight or in the middle of something and with someone, and it's not even serious really, um, in order to, sons of bitches, in order to get them to realize that it is serious, you may um, need to just grab a little nut. You don't even need to squeeze it that hard. But just the threat of their nuts being grabbed is like, okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right? So, um, in that instance but if it were my brother or my son no i would not i would not at all go for the nuts um so um i would play fair for sure yeah i'm sorry if i didn't 
respond the way that you were hoping that I would. But um, so those are, are my natural and honest responses. Um, thank you guys for joining me again. Remember guys, um, our subscription, our numbers are, are rising. We are now at 587, I think. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for um, being so supportive. I really appreciate that. Um, I want to say, however, I watch my videos, right? Some of them I go back and I don't necessarily watch, but some of them I go back and I look at them and I realize, hmm, there are over, there are over 2,000 views on this video. I think some of, one of them had 21K, or I, I don't know, I may be mistaken, but like, if I have that amount of views, that means I could have a lot more subscribers. So guys, come on. Come on, work it out, guys. Come on. Give me some. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Give me some, guys. Subscribe, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> it will really, really help. Um, it really helps with, um, you know, the support helps. Um, emotions are like money for me. Or genuine favors are like money for me and I don't ask favors at all ever but this one favor I want to ask you to see is like subscribe you can go ahead and comment as well 